He has standing by with head coach Kerry Green of the Liberty women's team. Coach, thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Thank you, Matt. Just finished your 17th season. You guys were 20 and 13. You made it to the NIT. I know this was a season of ups and downs, of injuries, a lot of things you guys had to overcome to make it to the postseason. What do you feel like is the biggest takeaway or two for you personally from this season? Well, um, personally, I, I really think it's the details uh, because you look throughout the season and it, it really comes down to one play or two yeah. plays, making a free throw. Uh, getting a defensive stop, alluding to a championship game. We're going into double overtime. Yeah. We yeah. had opportunities to win that game and uh, opportunities that uh, maybe slipped out of our hands. And it really comes down to one play. So um, as I look back, we need to make sure we cover every detail of every situation and uh, work with young ladies and, uh, and hopefully we can uh, move forward from this. Obviously, it, it hurt some five seniors that yeah. uh, they won another championship and uh, NCAA experience, and it just didn't happen. You talk about those five seniors, account for over 4,000 points, a little shy of 3,000 rebounds. How much did that senior class mean to your program? Uh, obviously, a lot. Uh, I think we looked at that, it was like 67% of our uh, offense, yeah. production, you know, or, or rebounding, and uh, it's just amazing. It's going to be missed. Those young ladies had really in, invested in our program and uh, uh, had a great impact on the success of our uh, of our program. Now, looking forward, of course, they're gone. You lose all of that production. Have you had a season where you've lost so much production, and how do you go about trying to replace that? Well, it's going to be hard to replace. Uh, I don't think you can actually replace them. You just got to go in a different direction. Yeah. Um, yes, we've had those those years. Uh, my second or third year, we lost uh, big three. Then it was three outstanding ball players. And uh, the following year, we bounced back. We have to go a different direction. And uh, with our upcoming season, you're going to see a, a different style of play. Um, we were forced to do that, but it, it should be more exciting. Yeah, you touched on that, and that's what I want to ask you about. It's style of play. I'd read that you, you wanted to get a, a little quicker, a little smaller maybe. Generally, your team's been known for having the, a lot of good bigs, for rebounding margin. You crash the boards. What goes into maybe tweaking things a little bit? Some coaches, it's, you know what, this is the system. Figure out a way to fit the system. It seems like you're trying to tweak the system to your personnel. Take me through the thought process deciding to do that. Well, um, I think it's much easier to take a player or players and play to their strengths. And uh, we can continue to work on their deficiencies yeah. or their weaknesses, but uh, right away just develop a, a system. Uh, in this particular case, we have a lot of length, a lot of speed, and uh, we need to capitalize on that, get up and down the floor much quicker. and. Never get away from the roots of rebounding yeah. and good defense, but from an offensive perspective, just utilize the, the speed that we have, uh, the ability to take people off a of dribble, spread our offenses out a little bit more, and uh, open, it, open the inside. Well, it'll be interesting watching that, that new style, and you've had so much success here over the years. We're sure that'll continue into the future, Coach. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you, Ben.